Imagine if you can access any type of design that you've done in Divi on any website that you're going to build in the future. This is possible with Divi Cloud and that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. All right, so I have two websites here, demo one and demo. So the idea here is to see how easy it is to use Divi Cloud to save all our designs on the go as we design other websites. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is to come over to our first site, which is the demo.local. So this one here is the demo1.local. So all these are running the basic version of Divi. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to design a basic layout. So I'm gonna come over here and add my rows over here on the left let's add a text module and change this to heading one so we're going to come over here to paragraph change this to heading one and then we're going to stylize this just to make it look a bit nicer so i'm going to come over here to design heading text and let's set this to poppins because i really love this font there we go i'm going to set it there let's make it bold as well so i'm going to come over here to my font weight and change this to bold now bold just makes things stand out really really nice all right so now that i have my text i know i'm going to have a dark back Background. So let's set my text here to white. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here and then save. Next, I'm gonna come over here now to my section settings. Go to our background and add our background color. So now you can see our text really stands out. All right, now let's do a few more uh, changes here. I'm gonna come over here to design and let's go to spacing. Top padding, I'm gonna set it to about 10%. That's looking great. I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna come over here now and add an image. So this is basically the process that you would go through as you're designing your website. So I'm gonna come over here, look for my image from my media library, and this is the image I'm gonna use. Upload an image, and great, I have my image now, and then I'm gonna save. All right, so now we have this basic layout. I mean, if I needed to, I can go ahead and add more text here, but we're just gonna leave this as it is. All right, so let's say you wanna use this layout over and over again. What would happen is you'd go to your next website, uh, start designing, go through all these steps again, like just what I've done now. But with Divi Cloud, you can actually save this to the cloud and then access it on any website running Divi. And this is super, super cool. Let me show you. All right, so now that I have this all set, I'm gonna save it. And then over here to these three little dots, I'm gonna click here and then say, save to a Divi Cloud. But for this to work, we need to sign into our account. So I'm gonna come over here and just say login automatically. I think that just makes things easier. Next, I'm gonna click on a login to this account. So now I'm logged in. So I'm gonna give this section a name. So let's just call this test. And now I can see here it says save to Disney Cloud. Cool. I can also create some categories here if I wanted to, and I can also add some tags. So let's just call this tag test. So since this is a section, I can set it, I can save it here to section designs, or I can create a new category. So let's create another one here. Let's call it test. And then I'm gonna save to cloud. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, okay, so how do I see all my stuff in the cloud? And here's how to do it. So what you wanna do is to come over here to your pre-made layout. So I'm just gonna come over here and load from library. So we have a few options here. We have our pre-made layouts. I'm pretty sure most of you are used to this. And then we also have our saved layouts. Now, how do you know uh, your saved layout is in the cloud? Well, you can see this with the cloud icon. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Now you can come over here and specifically go to my Divi Cloud and it will just show you all the Divi Cloud items. So right now it's showing full pages, but all the sections will show as we are designing our site. Okay, so now that we know where to find everything, the next step now is to go to our second website, which is demo one and see how we can import this. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. So let's go to our dashboard and create a brand new page. So I'm gonna say use Divi Builder. So the first thing we need to do on our brand new website is to come all the way down here to the bottom and click this plus button. Okay, so this opens up our library. So you can see on the top here, I haven't signed into Divi Cloud. So I need to click on sign into Divi Cloud, making sure everything is all set. I'm gonna click now, log in automatically and log in. So now that I'm logged in, I can always come to my saved layouts. And you can see here, I still have access to my pages, which was similar to my other demo website. So since we're working on our sections, I can just click here on this plus button and I'm gonna say add from a library. So check this out. All these items here are in my cloud library. So I can just go in here and choose my layout, which is right here. You can see here it says test and it also shows us a preview. So this makes it easier for us to find all our layouts as we're designing them. Okay, so now that I have it, all I have to do is to click on it and then click on use this section now it's uh, taking all my designs and add them on to this layout.
So here we go. This is our layout. It all it has all our images. So I can actually go in here and make some amendments to this. And if I needed to, I can now go in and rename it and save it to the cloud as well. So why is Divi Cloud important? So if you're a freelance designer or you're a design agency, this is a time saver because instead of designing the same kind of layouts over and over again, you pretty much have all your designs in one place. And this is in the Divi Cloud. Think about it as Dropbox for Divi. So let's say now that I have my layout, I can always go in now and make changes to this. So let's say I want to use a totally different image. I can go in here and delete this. But at least now I have a very good starting point. So let's set here my image. So now I'm going to upload my image drag and drop it here, upload image. So now I have a totally different image now on my design and I can go ahead and save this. So if I wanted to, I can go in and make further adjustments here. Maybe the padding might be too much. And then I can also go in here and add some text and then save. So in a very short time, I was able to have a layout. I know this is a basic one, but you can imagine how you can have all these complicated layouts that you have and you can access them pretty much on any type of website. So this could be opt-in forms. It could be specialty sections. It could be pretty much any type of design layout, which can be used over and over again that you would save in the cloud, just in case you may want to use it in the future. Now, now, I have a link to Divi Cloud in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out, and sign up for Divi Cloud. This will change the way you design websites. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.